Hi there. So I was asked this morning a question. The question was this. Do you cover your webcam? Well, my answer is yes, I do. I cover the webcam on my desktop computer, my laptop computer, and even on my smartphone as well, where the camera is facing towards me as I'm looking at the screen. And the reason why I do that is because hackers are capable of hijacking webcams on devices and secretly recording you. You may not even realize that video of you is being taken and the hackers are grabbing it. Now, why are hackers interested in video in me? Well, quite frankly, I have no idea. All they're going to see is me stuffing my face full of donuts while I'm browsing the web. But there are other people they are interested in watching. For instance, if you're a young woman, well, I'm bad news, I'm afraid. There's plenty of perverts out there who are interested in breaking into your computer and not just reading your email and your private messages and maybe scouring your hard drive to see what files they can find. They're also interested in seeing what they can see through your webcam. And imagine for a moment that you keep your computer in your bedroom. You don't necessarily want someone taking over the webcam and watching you there, do you? And what some of these freaks do is once they've hijacked your webcam in this way and they've begun to take footage of you, combining that with the information which they've already stolen about you from your emails and your messages, they may actually threaten to blackmail you and extort money. And in the worst cases, we've seen hackers who've been arrested and, and brought to justice after they've compromised hundreds of different women's uh, webcams all around the world and got them to do various unsavory things. Not very nice at all. So, my recommendation, cover your webcams. Only uncover your webcam when you actually want to make a Skype call or a FaceTime call, when you need to use your webcam. The rest of the time, you should cover it. Now, some people ask me, well, should I cover it with a post-it note? Well, no, I don't think a post-it note is a great idea because post-it notes, you know, they aren't the tackiest thing in the world uh, and they can fall off. And then, of course, you haven't got proper protection. So use a proper sticker. Or if you're like me and you're regularly Skyping people or making legitimate video calls, you might actually want a little device which is like a sliding door. So I have a little sliding door on my desktop computer and on my laptop. And yes, even on my smartphone as well, where I can just decide, yep, I want it open. No, I want it shut. And it's not just internet pervos who are interested in taking over your webcams, unfortunately. It's also law enforcement and intelligence agencies. One of the revelations by NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden was that the likes of GCHQ have technology to hijack people's webcams and record them, record videos. They called the technology gumfish for reasons best known to themselves. Now, the malicious hijacking of webcams is becoming more and more common, so it's something you need to be aware of. The reason why the hijacking is becoming more common is, of course, because more and more devices come now with a camera built in, permanently looking at you. It's like the unblinking eye of Sauron. So, make sure that it's covered up when you don't need it. Run an up-to-date antivirus program as well, which can hopefully detect the malware. So you may be wondering, does it take a rocket scientist or an uber hacker to hijack a webcam? Well, sorry, it really doesn't. You know, it's quite trivial to put code into your piece of malicious software to hijack the webcam and begin to take video or still pictures of people in front of their computers without their knowledge. And I say without their knowledge, because there's even been research done which has proven that on some computers it's possible to take over a webcam without turning on the little green light next to the webcam camera. See, you really would have no clue at all that something has happened. There have been high-profile victims of webcam hacking in the past. For instance, Cassidy Wolf, a former Miss Teen USA, had her webcam hijacked and ultimately the person who did that was brought to justice. I remember another story about a guy who worked in a MacBook repair shop and what he did was he would fix people's MacBooks but if he took a bit of a shine to the young lady who had brought in the MacBook, he'd install a piece of malicious software. And you know what it did? Every now and then it would pop up a message saying, there's a problem with the computer, please take it into a room full of steam because that's the best way to fix it. And so what some women did was they would take their laptops into the shower with them. And that was his way of secretly recording them in a disrobed state. It's kind of crazy, you know, if you think about it. 
there's plenty of places you can go on the internet to see pictures of naked women. Why would you want to <laughs> hijack webcams? But people do. And joking apart, it's a really unpleasant thing because it feels awful enough when your computer is hacked and you know that your files and your conversations have been grabbed and are being rifled through by a hacker. But when you find that your webcam has been hijacked, it really is extremely distressing and invasive. So make sure that your webcam isn't spying on you and cover it when you're not using it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like it and check out some of the other videos I've made as well. And if you really want me to make more vids, then subscribe to my channel. All right. So, have you subscribed yet? Come on, subscribe.